Andy Pants, have you just given up on your online reputation? Have you just given up on YouTube? Dude, why would you think it's a good idea to DM my friend Destructor the N-word while I was streaming? What in your mind made you think, hmm, yeah, that, that's a really smart thing to do, especially with all the drama I'm in right now. Do you not realize how much ammunition you're giving me? Do you not realize how much fuel you're giving me for my channel? Do you not realize how brain dead you look? And then just to make this better, you start coping in my DMs after I confront you about saying the N-word. I mean, Andy, this is just getting sad at this point. I mean, really, dude? Is this how low you're gonna go? Now, for those of you who did not tune into the stream last night, basically near the end, Andy Pants Gaming DM my friend Destructor the N-word. And then after that, he started coping in my DMs after I confronted him. And that's mainly what we're gonna be going over today. Now, for those of you who might be saying, oh rinse you're faking these dms you're faking this you're just you know making this all up just for more drama and more clicks well i'll go ahead and play the recording again on screen and as you can see my friend destructor record this on Streamyard, and he clicks on andy pants's profile and as you can see he has me added he has his channel linked and yeah i'm not really sure how you can really fake something like this i mean you can literally see the name is like his official discord name andy pants gaming so yeah this is not fake this is 100 percent real i mean this guy completely just destroyed whatever reputation he had left and like i said after i confronted him he went on this massive cope fest in my dms so we're just gonna go ahead and get straight into it now as you guys can see like i said earlier this is the official andy pants gaming account this isn't fake this is real and and really where the cope fest starts is right here, where I confront him about the whole N-word thing. And his response to that is, it's a joke. Now, just the fact that this guy said it's a joke after I confronted him already confirms that he did in fact say it. So if that isn't enough proof for you, I really don't know what is. He also goes on to be like, oh, you're the guy that I destroyed in the debate. That was fun, pretending that like he doesn't know who I am, which he clearly does because number one, he will respond to everybody else on YouTube, on Twitter, except for me. Even when I ratio this guy, he pretends it does not exist, it never happened, I don't even know what you're talking about. So this guy clearly knows who I am if he's avoiding me on purpose, and he also knows that I'm probably the reason this whole downfall even started. Because think about it guys, I said this in my last video and I'll say it again, it is just so funny how after all these videos have been made on Andy Pants, no debate stream, no debate stream, no debate stream. But then when I make a video calling him out, saying, yeah, you can't defend your points in a live debate. You can't defend your points in an actual discussion. Then two days later, he's on Twitter talking about some, come debate me, let's set this up, let's go. So Andy Pants is very well aware of my existence, and he very well is aware of the videos I make. But the thing is, is that he won't admit it. He wants to sweep this entire thing under the rug because it's a bad look for him. It doesn't help with the drama that's going on that I may have caused because, like I said, this guy's a fragile ego, and me saying that he couldn't defend his points in a live discussion probably made him mad and triggered this entire chain of events. So I say destroyed LMAO, you had to kick me out of it, and then I ratioed you on Twitter. Keep coping, LMAO. By the way, what do you think of internet grifters? I never got your opinion on that. So I'm kind of just trolling this guy right now, you know, just doing this for gits and shiggles. And then he responds with this. Cool dude, I have 10 million times the followers you ever will. Grifters are people like you using me for content because you can't create your own. Which by the way, Andy, you still never told me what you thought of internet grifters. You're just trying to describe one. So I say how ironic, also you're clearly wrong because everyone agrees with my tweet rather than yours. And then I show him the stream where the thumbnail is me ratioing him. Now if you guys couldn't tell, I'm just being satire, I'm just making fun of a point he tried bringing up in our debate where basically he was like, oh well everybody loved my video so you're wrong. Is it really a big enough talking point to be like, oh well this guy didn't mention this so they're a woke liberal cuck pushing communist liberal agenda. Like, I don't see how that's like a big enough talking point to use to try and actively use that against another creator to try and call them uh, woke and say, you know, the corporations are using them as a mouthpiece. Well, clearly everybody disagreed with you because they loved my video. So I go on to say, as you can clearly see, because I have more likes, I'm automatically right. You know, it takes a special type of stupid to not see the satire. And then I respond to his message saying he had more followers than me, where I was like, okay, good for you. Do you want a cookie? And then he says, and yet you're using social media to dick measure earlier. 
Justin validated yourself. Last time I checked, you were the first guy to start using Twitter logic. I'm just making fun of you. So who really invalidated themselves here? So then I say you did that in our first debate. I'm using your own logic against you, bozo. How thick is that skull of yours? Oh, wait, it's in your profile picture. And then he says, sure you are. And then basically I say, keep molding, by the way, thanks for the content. It's been helping do numbers with my channel recently. He says, you can come on my stream anytime and get bodied. I say, you can come on my stream since I don't have to silence people like a little bitch. I don't need to mute or silence people like you since I'm not a snowflake. Now, I don't know about you guys, but me personally, when somebody has to kick somebody off their stream because they're winning in a debate, I think that's peak snowflake behavior. I guess if we're gonna, you know, I, I, act I, I like guess, children I guess, here, I guess, I guess if we're gonna I act like children really here, here, then how's... Oh, he kicked me. So then Andy Pants says, you're going to use this text message for content. And then I say, you're going to actually have a real conversation rather than hiding behind your little stream yard powers. Because as you guys can see, he has to hide behind his stream yard powers. He has to be able to kick people. He has to be able to mute people. He has to be able to get people off his stream when they're winning because he's a snowflake. So then he says... <laughs> And and this is and this is so ironic. So he says, find some real content, dude. Maybe say something unique, which is just I'm not even going to get into how ironic that is coming from him. We're just going to keep going. And then I say, you know, I could do that, but I'd rather make fun of you since it's fun and my audience likes it. Besides, you don't want to deal with the drama anymore because it's too much for you to handle, you know, because you're a snowflake. And then he says, sure, bud, you got bodied, now run off. And then I had a bit of a typo when writing this, but I said, you do realize you bodied yourself for me, right? Andrew, I know you got a thick skull, but I know if you rub two brain cells together, you might be able to realize how stupid you sound. And then he says, cope with your two followers, which is just, it's just hilarious because this guy's like 40. He's like in his 40s and he's acting like this. It's just so funny how this guy basically does all the heavy lifting for me. I don't even really have to try hard to make this guy look stupid because he just ends up making himself look stupid. So then I decide you know what Andy Pants loves throwing around personal attacks on people for no reason I'm gonna go ahead and step in the Thunderdome and I said cope with your thinning hairline and he said huh nah bud and I said buddy pushing 40 beefing with people half his age online sad AF and then he says and I'm not even joking when I say this I wish this was fake this dude straight up just said my hot wife loves my full head of hair yeah, we're just we're just going to leave that at that. I'm not even going to make fun of it. We're just we're just going to move on from that. So I respond to his message where he's like, huh, nah, bud. And I say, oh, no, 100 percent, kiddo. And if you guys watch the debate me and him had, you'll know where that quote came from. So I'm not really seeing the logical consistency there. Can you explain? Can you elaborate on that? Oh, oh, 100 percent, kiddo. So then I respond to the whole my hot wife loves my full head of hair message. And I say, I can't stop laughing at that. Give me a minute. And I, you know take about three minutes. I, I step away from the keyboard. I take three minutes to, you know, just really catch my breath because I just could not stop laughing when I read that message. But I come back and I'm like, all right, I'm back. Dog, this is not it. Buddy's bragging about his Keep subscription, which if y'all don't know what Keeps is, this is not sponsored, by the way. I know they like to sponsor a bunch of YouTubers, but basically what Keeps is, is it's like a thing that kind of helps you keep your hair or like grow your hair back or whatever. So like if you're in your 30s or 40s and like, you know, you're going bald, like you're losing your hair, basically Keeps helps you keep your hair and, you know, bring it back. And not gonna lie, I didn't really look too deep into this joke, but when you think about it, and I'm just now thinking about this, it does kind of look like this guy is like unironically using Keeps because if you look at this image of him, and this was from one of his old videos on his Andy Xbox channel. But you can see his hairline, it's a, it's looking a little rough. You know what I mean? It's going back a little bit. But then you see this image of him, which I believe is more recent. You can see his hairline's coming back. And it's only really thinning in the middle. And look, guys, I'm not putting down anybody who has to use keeps. I'm probably going to need that shit when I'm in my 40s too. But don't be on the internet talking about some, oh, 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 my hot wife. She just loves my full head of hair. It's like, bro, you're barely hanging on to your hairline. Anyways, he goes on to say, cope, dude, with your two subs. Ha ha. I say projection 100, and then I say bro thinks I got an alt, that's hilarious, this might be the best form of entertainment I've seen yet, and basically to explain the whole alt thing, so at the time I was messaging this guy, he was also responding to my friend Destructor, and he asked Destructor, <laughs> he asked him, are you rinse? Now Andy Panties, I don't know if you're stupid or something, but you can literally go on Destructor's profile and see that he has a YouTube channel linked, and when you go to that YouTube channel, Oh, 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 what's this? Oh, uh, another channel besides Rinse that has 851 subscribers, uh, hours upon hours of content. Okay, do you genuinely think I have the time 
to balance two channels where I consistently upload on both? Like, do you genuinely think I have the time to do all that? Are you that stupid? Anyways, that's pretty much where our interaction ends. Andy Pants hasn't responded since, and that's probably the smartest thing he's done all week, considering that this guy literally makes himself look more stupid with every message he sends. Anyways, guys, that's gonna go ahead and do it for this video. I'll leave a link to Destructor's channel in the description so y'all can go check him out. Shouts to him. He's trying to set up another debate with Andy Pants, so if it does work out, it's gonna be me and Destructor versus Andy Pants, so we'll see how that goes. Anyways, guys, let me know what you think about this in the comments down below, and also make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Also, be sure to check out the Discord server. I'm always active on there, and I always ping the server when I upload a video, since YouTube notifications can be buggy sometimes. So if any of that sounds interesting to you, be sure to check that out. And yeah, with all that being said, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.